In his career, Robinson has fought 120 fights. Two minutes to go of the second round. Robinson has only lost one fight in his career over a period of 10 years. Bobby Dykes has lost four in a total of 65 fights. Robinson is trying the same punches to Bobby Dykes with which he hit Bobo Olsen when he knocked him out in Philadelphia. Robinson's last fight. He's got Dykes slowed a little bit from the heavy punishment. Bobby Dykes is breathing rather hard. One minute to go of the second round. punches that are landing in there that have tremendous snap and they're just jarring Dykes whose face is now beginning to redden up and so is his body where he's taking the punching. Round is almost over and Dykes has yet to unleash that right. Well there's the end of round number two. Ray Robinson punching with great precision and great snap has moved out as far as the aggressorship is concerned with his cannonading over in his corner as he is now surrounded by Harry Wiley and Pee Wee Beale and George Gainsford. This 30 year old who weighs 157 pounds tonight up in the middleweight class and with an advantage of eight and a half pounds over Bobby Dyke who is a welterweight and is fighting over that weight has fought uh, 12 fights this year and won them all. And in his career, he has lost but one, had two draws, and has knocked out 75 of the 117 opponents that uh, he has gained the decision over. He was born in 1920. And now as we look at Bobby Dykes, and the third round ready to come up, he has fought 10 fights this year, won eight, lost one, suffered one draw. In his career, he's knocked out 34 of the 56 men he has beaten. with Bobby Dykes who is breathing hard and his nose has been attended to. It wasn't bleeding opening but it was bleeding inside at the end of the second round. Dykes has received instructions, instructions to move around. With that attack, a partial slip by Robinson slipping on the rosin on the canvas had him in trouble for just a moment.
go of the third round. to go the third round. Both boys are masters in blocking blows when they block them well. Well, there's the bell ending round number three. And how about you having a round of that smoother tasting Pabst Blue Ribbon beer? Have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What'll you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. When a waitress glides up to your place with a pretty smile upon her face, here's the way to really romance her. Give her that Pabst Blue Ribbon answer. What you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What'll you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What'll you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Smoother, smoother, smoother flavor. Zest and sparkle, million flavor. Taste that smoother, smoother flavor. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Finest beer, sir. Anywhere. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. What'll you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Boy, you're looking now at Sugar Ray Robinson, the Waterway Champion of the World. There's the flaps blue ribbon seal that says round number four. Oh, Ray Robinson was kidding and as if he were telling Bobby I'm being knocked out. The crowd didn't like the histrionics, which are uh, suggestive of Max Baer. Bobby was very serious about it, but now you see Robinson is very serious himself. Bobby may be a little puzzled by the fact that after cannonading Dykes for the first two rounds, and he had this tired appearance that in the succeeding round, he didn't go down. Two minutes to go, the fourth round. minutes ago of the fourth round the greatest damage through the fight being inflicted by Sugar Ray are those rights to the ribs and in close sometimes a jolting uppercut most of Dyke's blows you can see very cleanly because he fights from outside A minute to go of the fourth round. 